hello and welcome back to the channel for today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to make a 3d petal applique slash design for your dress so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so to create my design first i'm going to be working with this plain paper and i'm going to be dividing this plain paper into two equal parts so the width of this paper is actually six inches so dividing it into two i'm going to be having three inches at both sides so i'm just going to take my tape and i'm going to place it and i will mark three inches dividing my paper my pattern paper into two so after doing that what i'm going to do is just to place my ruler and i'm going to connect drawing a straight line so remember this six inches is not a constant depending on the size or design you want to create for your petal so apple. after marking that i'm going to go ahead and still place my tape to get the desired length i want for my petal so i i'm also going to use six inches so depending on the length you want so this six inches is not a constant so i'm just going to draw a straight line after drawing that straight line i'm going to cut out so after cutting out this is what i have and this is what i will be working with so to work with this i'm going to share this square i have or this pattern paper i have into four equal parts or into four equal box because I'm going to be creating or drafting my pattern from here. But you can as well do a freehand sketch if you want to. So after drawing my line, next thing we are going to be creating the pattern or shape that I want for this petal. So from the center line, I'm going to place my tape and I'll mark two and a half inches on that side. At the other side also, I'm going to place my tape and I'll mark two and a half inches. So at the lower part, I'm going to go ahead to mark 1.5 inches at the lower part. And then at the other side also, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches. So note, all these measurements are not constant. So you can go ahead to use your own measurement. So I'll go ahead to connect the line from the center part to the lower part. So what I'll do next is to take my French curve and I'm going to place my French curve touching that line and then I'm going to draw the shape that I want from the upper part down to the center line. So you can also try to create any shape, any other shape of your choice. So after drawing out, I'm just going to blend in with my marker so that I don't have any sharp edge. So going over to the other side also, I'm going to place my French curve and I'm going to also connect and draw the shape for that part. And I'll also go ahead to blend in what I have. So after blending out, what I'll do next is to go ahead to use my scissors and I'm going to cut out this shape. So after cutting out the shape, what I'm going to do is to place it on a desired material and I'm going to cut out. So if you notice, I added half inch here and I didn't add half inch round because I'm okay with the size I'm working with. You can go ahead to add half inch round it for sewing allowance if you want to. So after opening my pattern, I cut out two so this is what i have this is what it's looking like so i'll go ahead to cut extra so after cutting this is what i have and this is eight pieces of this fabric so after cutting this what i'll do is to cut the interfacing that i'm going to be working with so the interface i'm using is a peplum stay it is thicker than a gum stay it's very very thick so why i'm doing this is to add structure to the petals so i'm going to place my petal on it and i'm going to trace out four pieces so after cutting out this is what i have so if you notice this interface is thicker than the normal gum stay just like i said so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the shiny part 
and i'm going to place on the wrong side of this petal so i'll be placing it on four of the petals and the other one i'll be using it as the right side of the petal so after ironing it i'll go ahead to top stitch it round also to make sure it's secured so after doing that what i'm going to do is to sew boning to this petal so you can as well use a plastic boning but if you're doing that you're going to be creating a boning channel on this so that's not necessary so it's best to use a reddening or soybean boning so before that i'm going to go ahead to mark half inch at the upper part and at this part because i'm going to be folding this in and top stitching after sewing so what i'll do next right now is to go ahead and i'll mark half inch for all my petals to show where my boning is going to stop so after i'm done marking that what i'm going to do is to go and sew my boning which i have done already and this is what it is looking like so this part of the petal will be for the back side so don't bother yourself about the stitching at the back so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place this on it and you're going to top stitch you're going to sew with half inch right you're going to place the right side facing the right side and you're going to sew with half inch then you're going to repeat the process for all of them you're going to go ahead to notch it so i'm done sewing and this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do is just to notch it round just like i said so the reason why i'm notching it is so that the edge will not be bulky or you can just go ahead to trim it out a little so after trimming it out what i'm going to do right now is to turn it to the right side so while turning this it might be very difficult for you to turn you're just going to do that gradually so the reason why is because of this boning at the center so i've gone ahead to turn this up and this is what i have so i'm just going to turn the other one also so that you see how i'm going to turn it so while turning it please don't be in a hurry to avoid your stitch tearing or the boning piercing the material you're just going to do it gently so after turning it i'm just going to take my scissors and i'm going to push out the edges of the petal so after that you're going to go ahead to iron the sides and iron it so that it's going to be very flat so after doing that you're going to fold in these rough edges and you're going to top stitch it so i'll go ahead to do for the other petals so i'm done top stitching and ironing it so the next thing you're going to do is to attach your your trimmings or lace patch on it so after that i'm going to use my candle gum and just stick these trimmings to it or you can also use your uhu gum so after attaching this this is what i have and i'll go ahead to do the other one so after attaching my trimmings to my petal this is what it's looking like so you can use it to create any design on your dress you can attach it to the sleeve part to the body of the dress you can just use it for any design on your dress so with this we have come to the end of today's tutorial please if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and also turn on your notification button to get new updates from my channel whenever i post